Hey guys, today is going to be an exciting day for us. So we have uh, completed, hopefully, at least books one and two of the Fundamental Chord Shapes books so that you've got your fourth, uh, fifth, and sixth strings memorized very well. You should be able to move your power chords up and down and your bar shapes up and down, both of those strings. So today we are moving into Fundamental Scale Shapes. And uh, we are going to obviously start off with pentatonic boxes. In, in uh, Scale Shapes book number one, we're going to cover three pentatonic boxes. There's a total of five that get you all the way across your entire neck. We're going to do three of them in this book and make sure that you're really familiar with how to play these three. So uh, we're going to kick off basically right around page 21 in your Fundamental Scale Shapes book. Uh, we've got what I'm going to call uh, pentatonic box number one and box number two. Now, if you, uh, a lot of pentatonic boxes are simple, but they can get really complicated. So for now, you're going to put box one. Um, if I say let's play A minor pentatonic, you're going to find your A on the sixth string. And that is going to be box one, which for now we're going to call a minor pentatonic box, okay? So if you can see there, box number one, here's how we're going to do it. We're going to put your first finger on the A on the sixth string. And you're going to look at your diagram there and uh, make sure you understand that that diagram is... If you were laying that diagram flat on a table and your guitar was laying flat on a table, uh, the bottom string that you would be looking at if you were looking straight down is actually on top when the guitar is up and down, okay? So just remember. So for instance, here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab our A and we're going to do one finger per fret. So we're going to do first finger pinky. Next string down is first finger third finger. Next one down is first third down again, first, third, down again, first, pinky, and down again, first, pinky. All right, that's pentatonic box number one. Let's try that again. Starting on the fifth fret, your A. We're going to go first, pinky, first, third, first, third, first, third, first, third, first pinky, and first, pinky. Okay, and you also want to learn to play that scale backwards. Pinky first, pinky first, third first, third first, third first, pinky first. Don't try to be musical and start coming up with all kinds of cool stuff just yet. Memorize this box so you can play it up and down um, without any thought whatsoever, okay? We want to add box number two to your memorization. Now, box number two, it's important that you not only memorize the pattern, but that you know where it goes on the neck. Box number two, you're always going to play in relation to box number one. So the trick here is uh, the first note on box number two is always going to be where your pinky is from box number one. So we want to start that first note of box number two with your second finger. So basically put your second finger right where your pinky is from box number one, okay? So second finger is now where the pinky was. That moves us forward into box number two. Okay, so box number two, we're gonna play like this. You can look at your diagram, but I'll call out the finger number. We're gonna do one finger per fret. We're gonna start off second finger, pinky, first finger, pinky, first finger, pinky, first finger, third finger, and I would move forward here, first finger, third finger, first finger, third finger. We're going to shift forward to get those because you want your strong fingers. You want to use your strong fingers on those bottom two notes, okay? So let's try it again. Go to box one on the A, put your pinky where it goes. That's where we're going to start box number two. So you're going to use your second finger where the pinky was. And now just play the right finger in the right fret. Second finger, pinky. First finger, pinky. First finger, pinky. First finger, third finger. Move forward one fret, down a string. First finger, third. 
first finger third. Now when we come down, we're gonna go third finger first, third finger first, use your second finger since that note is right on top of there. Second finger, your first finger stretches back. Skip one fret, stretch that first finger back. Now you're back in position. Pinky first, pinky first, pinky second. Okay? So what your exercises should be is just going up and down box one and box two until you can do them without even having to think about it. Box one, you move forward to find box number two. Second finger starts where the pinky is. And you could even come back and end on that box one note when you descend box two. All right, that's it. You are gonna practice both of those until you've got them down, and right now they're just skeletons. There's no meat or muscles or any cool looking stuff to make it sound nice. Not right now they're just skeletons, learn them up and down. Here's what I'm gonna do. For a few minutes I'm gonna play some chords, and I'm gonna have you play these scales on top of the chords that I'm playing. So, uh, let's do this. You're just gonna go up box one, back down box one, move forward, find box two, up box two, back down box two. And maybe come back and end on that box one note. So I'm gonna strum some chords. Don't worry about what I'm strumming. You are gonna start off on the A on the sixth string, and you're gonna play box one straight up and down a couple times, move forward, play box two up and down, okay? So here we go. You're starting on the A and you're going to play box one up and down. Go ahead anytime. Okay, that wasn't really long enough for you. What you want to do is check out the Guitar School of Richland website, www.guitarschoolofrichland.com. Go to the tab that says Backtracks. You're going to see four backtracks that have been specially made <clears throat> to help you get through this book. And you want to be able to play those two boxes over any of those backtracks. Now, when those backtracks change keys, we're going to have to know how to do that. So. We just now played an A minor pentatonic, okay? If we were to play in B minor, you're just gonna use your sixth string to find your B, which you should be good at by now, and now that's B minor, and you're just gonna play your pentatonic boxes right there. So, you would move up to the B, play your pentatonic right there, back down, to find box two, put your second finger where your pinky is, and play that one up and down. Okay, if I said we were in, in D minor, you're going to find the D on the sixth string. E, F, G, A, B, C, D. And you're going to play both those boxes here. D, pentatonic box straight up. And then find box two, second finger plays off your pinky. Okay, for some weird reason I said we were going to play in G minor, you would find the G on the 6th string, E, F, G, and you're going to play your pentatonic boxes right there, box 1, right on top of the G, and box 2 would be 2nd finger where your pinky is. Ah, sorry, wrong note in there. Okay guys. Okay, that's about all we have time for. Um, the main premise of this section is to memorize the two boxes in relationship to each other and hopefully be able to move them to whatever key we're playing over. It's going to be extremely boring if you practice them without any backtracks. So go to that website. There's four backtracks. One of them is in A minor, which means you start on the A. One of the backtracks is in B minor, which means you start on the B. 
One of them is in D minor, so you start your scales on the D. The other one is in E minor. And when you're in E minor, you could play the pentatonic boxes down here open. That's going to be a little confusing right now, so if you can, just go to your 12th fret. That's an E also. Go to your 12th fret and play box one there. Find your pinky note, put your second finger on top of that pinky, if you can make it that high. Play your box there, okay? Alright, I'll see you back real soon.